what went wrong? Uh, I think a, a few things went wrong. Um, you know, again, this was our first venture into owning a business or starting a business. Um, so I think, you know, from some, some standpoints, there were some financial um, constraints that aside from, you know, finding a place that we wanted building out the way we wanted to. But then, you know, when we first opened, we didn't have, you know, glycol jacketed fermenters. Sure. We just had single wall fermenters. And before we actually opened our doors, we were already upgrading our equipment. So it wasn't, uh, I guess, a, a really smart way to kind of go about it. Um, <laughs> even in, And then, like, even in hindsight, like, looking at that space, like, we had this one uh, room that was right next to our, ta- our, our brew space. And that room was actually, didn't matter how hot it got in the brew space, didn't matter how cold it was in the tap room or anything like that, that room stayed about 66, 68 degrees <laughs> year-round all the time. And I was just like... Bam, you know, it was like a light bulb went off. We should have kept our fermenters in there. Right. You know, we should have kept those out of the brew space. It actually would have helped with, uh, you know, just energy costs in general when you're running your glycol systems. So, I mean, you know, I think it was just, you know, thinking that we understood everything going into it. And then in hindsight, it's like, well, maybe we didn't really understand everything that this this place could have offered Right. Um, in hindsight. Um, and then there's, you know, those other challenges too. Um, I, I think that there was some uh, animosity towards us to some degree, uh, like before we even opened our doors, like we were being labeled as, you know, however you want to kind of call it, you know, uh, racist or things like that. And it's like that to me didn't make any sense. Um, uh, I was, I was out of the group, you know, the minority, you know, I think we were majority minority owned. Yeah. Um, so like none of those things really made sense. And I think people were kind of casting aspersions as to who we were as people, before actually getting to know us, even coming into our tap room to even talk to us, drink our beer. Um, and I think that's, you know, some of that kind of went a long way is kind of like pre cancel culture, cancel culture to a degree. Thank you for watching for more episodes. More importantly, for full episodes, go to your favorite podcasting platform, look for Cincy Brewcast and subscribe to the show. New episodes drop every single Monday and you can see why we like to call it the voice of Sensi Craft.